will do good service by conscientiously expressing his conviction. But only thus can the load of prejudice by which this subject is overwhelmed be removed. So what you know about natural selection? Go ahead and ask some questions and see where the answer gets you. Try being passive aggressive or try smashing heads in and see which tactic brings your plans to fruition. And if you have an explanation of mind, then you're wasting your time. Because the best watchmaker is blind. Takes a certain base kind of impatient mind to explain away nature with intelligent design. But the truth shall set you free from those superstitious beliefs that a, a literal Adam and Eve and that Edenic myth. Because their family tree is showing some genetic rift. Take it from this bald-headed, non-celibate monk with the lyrical equivalent of, a, of an elephant's trunk. It's time to elevate your mind state and celebrate your kinship with the primate. The weak and the strong. Who got it going on? We lived in the dark for so long. The weak and the strong. Darwin got it going on. Creationism is dead wrong. Tell the dark view which most naturalists entertain, namely that each species has been independently created, is erroneous. Okay, it's time to reveal my identity. I'm the manifestation of tens of millions of centuries of natural selection. Best believe I'm the best of the best of the best of the best of generations of competitive pressure genetically. But don't get upset, because we got the same pedigree. You and I will find a common ancestor eventually if we rewind geological time aggressively. And I can say the same for this hibiscus tree, and this lizard, and this flea, and this sesame tree. And if you still just believe in what your senses perceive, I can even use my rhymes as a remedy, because there's so much variation in the styles in this industry and differential survival when the people listening decide what they're into and what really isn't interesting. You get tribes like Timberlake on a Timberland beat or go extinct like Vanilla Ice and Instinct. It's survival of fitness, but fitness is a tricky thing. It changes from place to place, from winter to spring. But the real question is social scientific simile is heredity, whether we inherit our techniques from our predecessors or invent them independently. But then we're talking memes and that's a different thing. Richard Dawkins, can I get a proper definition, please? The weak and the strong. Who got it going on? We lived in the dark for so long. The weak and the strong, Darwin got it going on. Creationism is dead wrong. The weak and the strong, who got it going on? Uh, whoever leaves the most spawn. The weak and the strong, Darwin got it going on. Creationism is erroneous. I hear some people complain, like, I don't want to be an ape. I never came from monkey DNA. I believe God made me in a day. Jesus saves. Yeah, he's great. So stop being afraid to use the reason he gave you. Let science solve some giant problems and find some final results. I think it's time for y'all to let your mind evolve. And listen to a different kind of silent call. The kind that comes from pine trees and not pine saw. I'm talking about the mystical vision that Einstein saw. Wondering if the infinite depths of divine thought and realizing that scripture could never define God. Because if there is a personal God, then he's been jerking off. So why would he bother designing an albatross when natural selection does an excellent job just by balancing benefits and costs? Science will banish God into the gaps if it can't help us understand the simplest facts. We'll have a relaxed God of infinite naps. Who we are a human chance. The weak and the strong. Who got it going on? We lived in the dark for so long. The weak and the strong. Darwin got it going on. Creationism is dead wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, if you believe it, then say it with me, okay? When I say creationism is, you say dead wrong. Creationism is? Dead wrong. Creationism is?